All right, so it is around 1.15 a.m. And I have a conference tomorrow. It's in France, it's virtual. I am presenting at 10.40 a.m., which is fine. But I just found out that I'm actually presenting at 10.40 a.m. in France this time, in Central European time, which is at 4.40 a.m. where I live. So I have to present at a conference in about like three and a half hours. Except there's one problem. I don't have slides ready and I have no idea what I'm presenting. So I should do the responsible thing and make the slides right now. But there's one big problem. It's a huge problem. And it's that I am irresponsible. So instead of making my slides, I'm gonna get up 40 minutes before the conference make my presentation and present. And we'll see how that goes. So I'm gonna go get three hours of sleep. See you. Hello everyone, uh, thanks for having me. Today I'm going to be presenting a novel CubeSat combined antenna deployment and beam steering method using motorized rods. My name is Ali Al-Kirguli and uh, let's get started. So a quick outline of what I'm going to be talking about. Terahertz devices have been used in space for quite some time actually. Now in some of our previous works, we were able to design the ideal frequencies for use in the terahertz band. Theoretically should increase the resolution of your steering. From the results, we're able to see that you are able to reach the desired uh, gain that is above 40 dBi, despite being able to steer um, around 20 degrees. All right, so I just finished presenting and I guess it went very well. Um, that was not nearly as bad. And I probably should not do this again, but I probably will. But that's not just me, that's every PhD student, most of them. Now, if you have absolutely no clue about research papers or scientific papers or conferences or any of that stuff, you should check this video out.